I am Zheng Qinli from UC San Diego. I will present our work on inverse rendering of complex indoor scenes. We present a physically motivated deep network to reconstruct shape, complex materials, and spatially varying lighting from a single image of an indoor scene, which enables high-quality AR applications such as object insertion and material editing. Early works on inverse rendering use expensive and calibrated devices. Subsequent works reconstruct shape and material from a single image, but are limited to objects. For scene level inverse rendering, prior works only solve a subset of the problems. In contrast, we reconstruct all of geometry, complex materials, and spatially varying lighting in indoor scenes using a single image. Three key contributions lead to our success a photorealistic synthetic indoor scene dataset, a compact yet effective lighting representation, and a physically motivated deep network. Our materials are represented by a physically meaningful microfacet BRDF model. Each material is represented by a spatially varying diffuse albedo, normal, and roughness. Next, we design a novel approach to augment any prior synthetic datasets with our high-quality microfacet SVBIDFs. Comparisons with prior datasets clearly show that our new dataset has more realistic appearance, especially for specularity. Indoor scenes exhibit complex, spatially varying lighting. We adopt a per-pixel event map to model such high-frequency indoor lighting. However, directly predicting a per-pixel event map is too expensive. Therefore, we use spatially varying spherical Gaussians as a concise approximation. We show that it can better preserve high-frequency information compared to spherical harmonics of prior works. We build a physically motivated deep network that models the image formation process. Our local lighting representation allows a fast in-network differentiable rendering layer to render the image from the predictions. Based on the feedback provided by the rendering layer, we build a cascade structure to iteratively refine our predictions. We also include a trainable bilateral server for post-processing. Trained on our large-scale synthetic dataset, our network achieves accurate inverse rendering results even on real data. We observe that the cascade structure progressively recovers more details, and the bilateral solver removes noise in the predictions. We test our network on the IW dataset for intrinsic decomposition. Even though we are solving a more complex problem, both qualitative and quantitative comparisons show that our results are comparable to the state of the art. Our high quality inverse rendering enables photorealistic augmented reality applications. Compared with prior works, our object insertion demonstrates more consistent spatially varying lighting, more realistic shadows, and specular highlights. We render a video for object insertion. Even without an explicit temporal smoothness prior, the consistency of shadows and highlights further demonstrates the robustness of our predictions. We also conduct a user study using the Grand Truth Spatially Varying Lightings from Gary et al. Our object insertion results are evaluated to be more realistic compared to prior works. Besides object insertion, we can also perform material editing by swapping the material in the image. Our spatially varying lighting prediction can also be used to render specular materials, which cannot be handled by previous intrinsic decomposition methods. To conclude, we propose a deep network to reconstruct shape, complex materials, and spatially varying lighting from a single image of an indoor scene. To train our network, we create a large-scale photorealistic synthetic dataset of indoor scenes with complex SVBRDFs. We propose a compact and effective lighting representation and a physically motivated deep network to solve this challenging problem. Our high-quality inverse rendering enables photorealistic AR applications using a single image from a mobile phone.